how can you continue to grow in your faith and what types of things can you control in this journey? You know, going back to how your environment and how people around you can influence your actions, it's important to point out a couple of things when it comes to growing in faith. And again, I'll use personal examples, not not necessarily to imply that this is what you need to do, but because everyone's journey is a little bit different, but rather to just simply relay what has worked for me. So when it comes to my environment, you know, I start my day with a devotional on my phone and I pray with my family multiple times a day. I listen to uplifting music at home and, and when I'm in the car. We attend church each week and I seek opportunities to continue to learn. And for me, it's about surrounding myself with as much as I can to remind me of my faith. And my wife and I also try to surround ourselves with people who are positive influences. And this is grounded in scripture. So Proverbs uh, 27, verse 17 states, as iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. And the saying, show me your friends and I'll show you your future, actually comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 20, which states, walk with the wise and become wise, associate with fools and get in trouble. And then finally, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 4, verse 9, says two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. They can help each other succeed. This is why it's important not to view church as just a building or, or a place that you go, but rather as a community of people, of support. And when trying to grow in faith, the things around you and the people around you, those that you surround yourself with, have a huge influence on your actions.